What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the best damn Briofida guide ever. In this video, we're going to check out hard requirements, suggested requirements, gear setups, boss room layouts, mechanics and attacks, and some example fights and kills, but not only for pay to play, since Briofida is also a free to play boss, I will be covering free to play gear setups and everything else you need to know about Briofida. Hard requirements. There is only one hard requirement to fight Briovida, and that is a Mossy Key. Mossy Keys are dropped by Moss Giants. You'll see here on the drop rate, it is 1 in 150 to 1 in 50. Now, depending on where or why you're killing Moss Giants, that's what the rate will determine. If you are killing Moss Giants outside of the wilderness, you have a 1 in 150 chance of grabbing yourself a mossy key. If you are killing them in the wilderness, your chances drop down to one in 60. And if you are on a slayer task of moss giants, which obviously is pay to play only, your odds will be one in 50. Suggested requirements. For the Briophidus suggested requirements, I am going to cover the free to play suggested requirements first. So I've split this up into two different categories, melee and range. For melee, if you are free to play, I'm going to suggest that you have an attack, strength, and defense level of at least 50 to fight Briophida. Additionally, if you're using melee, you will have to get up close to Briophida. So 43 prayer is also going to be highly recommended for the protect from melee prayer. If you are deciding to use the ranged attack style, I would suggest you have at least level 60 ranged, level 40 defense for the use of green dragon hide armor, 37 prayer, because if you are fighting Briofida from a distance, Briofida actually will never move. So you don't have to worry about her approaching you. You can just protect from magic and stand back and negate the damage. For the pay to play suggested requirements, I have grouped these all up because as a pay to play player, you have many many more options to use while bossing. So as for this, for pay to play, obviously you can kill Briofida with the free to play requirements if you are not quite this high yet, but in pay to play, it is a lot easier to get these levels than it is in free to play. So for pay to play players, I am gonna suggest an attack and strength level of both gonna be 60. The attack level at 60 will allow you to use dragon weaponry, which will benefit your kill times a lot. As for the defense level, level 40 at least, and that is for the usage of rune armor at a minimum. For ranged, it does drop a little bit in pay to play because at level 50, you can use the magic short bow. You can also imbue it, which will give it higher ranged accuracy and take the special attack usage percentage down. You can also use amethyst arrows at that point will do quite a bit of damage. As for prayer, it's going to be 43 on the high recommended end, so I'm just going to show that. But if you do plan on just ranging Briofida, once again, only 37 prayer is needed for Protect from Magic. Location and how to get there. Briofida's lair is located in the Varrock sewers, and that is going to be close to the Moss Giant spawns, way in the back there. So there's going to be two ways that you're going to be able to get to Briofida. The first way is going to be a pay-to-play only way, which I will show you. It does involve an agility shortcut. So first thing, you are going to want to head to Edgeville, and then you will head down to the dungeon entrance, which is south of the bank. So you'll go down there. And once you get into there, you will follow the path around all the way over to Vinaka, who is the Slayer Master there. And then you will notice that there is a pipe in the wall. You can cross through this pipe. It does require level 51 agility, or you can boost it with a Summer Pie at 46, which will take you into the Moss Giants. And you'll just head a little bit farther east and then north, which will bring you to Briofina's Lair. If you are a free-to-play player or a pay-to-play player without the proper agility level, what you will want to do is teleport yourself to Varrock, and then you'll run to the northeast to enter the Varrock sewers, which is just on the eastern wall of the Varrock Palace. Once you get in there, it's going to be kind of a long run. And first, you will want to make sure that you have some sort of slash weapon or a knife, because there will be a spider web that you will have to cut. So you run north through the tunnel, turn yourself east, and then head back to north, west through a couple of doors, continue heading west, and then you will find a spider web. You will need to cut this to get through, follow that south, head farther west, and then once again, you will come out near the red spiders and the moss giants, and just to your north will be Briofida's lair. Suggested gear setups. So, suggested gear setups, because that's exactly what they are. These are suggestions. Normally, I do a low, mid, high tier in my own setup for these videos, but since this is a free-to-play and pay-to-play guide, I am only going to be doing the four suggested gear setups that will be listed. 
obviously with these gear setups if you are pay to play then use whatever you have if it outclasses what i am showing you as for the free to play that we're going to check out they are considered best in slot for free to play players so we'll start out with the free to play melee setup for the gear and inventory on the left side we have the gear rune full helm any cape such as this one or anything that looks like it different color will do amulet of power your melee weapon is going to be a rune scimitar you're going to want to use the green dragon hide top legs and van braces for magic resistance and you will also want to have the rune kite shield in your offhand as well as leather boots to finish it out over in the inventory one strength potion one mossy key a teleport to varrock to get yourself out of the instance after you finish off briofida and you will want to fill up the rest of your inventory with lobsters or if you also have swordfish you can also do that for the free to play range setup we'll be using a coif in the head slot and once again a cape any cape that gives defense bonus is fine amulet of power in your ammunition slot you will want to have adamant arrows in the weapon slot a maple short bow once again green dragon hide top legs and van braces and leather boots over in the inventory very very similar we're just missing the strength potion so we have the mossy key to get into the briofida instance with the range setup you will want to bring a knife or some other form of weapon that has a slash bonus to it because you will have to cut that web if you are going there and fill up the rest of your inventory with lobsters or swordfish as for our pay to play melee setup you have a lot of options as a pay to play player so for a simple option i've chosen to go with the helm of Nitsnot, fire cape amulet of glory unholy blessing but any blessing will work i will use a dragon scimitar with an offhand as a dragon defender black dragon hide top and legs barrows gloves dragon boots any berserkers ring imbued in the inventory one super combat potion but if you have divine and you want to use that obviously that's fine one prayer potion a stamina potion for the run there anti-poison because in pay to play briofida does poison in free to play briofida will not poison so no need for an antidote there i have a dragon dagger as my special attack weapon but you can obviously upgrade that as well mossy key for the instance house teleport to get myself out once i am done with the fight and manta rays in the rest of the inventory now obviously if you are pay to play and of higher levels you can bring more than one key with you at a time and do as many kills as you can manage to do in inventory for our pay to play suggested range setup this one is also a very simple build and i will be demonstrating with these exact builds so god coif in the helmet slot any of them will work ava's accumulator but if you have an assembler use that amulet of glory my ammunition is going to be amethyst arrows i'm going to be using the magic short bow imbued with black dragon hide top and legs barrows gloves snakeskin boots and an archer's ring imbued over in the inventory very similar ranging potion but if you have a divine go ahead and take that prayer potion antidote plus plus stamina potion a knife to cut the web if you don't have the agility level to use the edgeville dungeon shortcut mossy key house teleport for the end of the fight and fill up the rest of the inventory with manta rays or whatever food you want to bring one last thing i want to mention here before i get a whole bunch of comments saying you forgot an axe yes i did forget an axe in the inventories i wanted to leave that out purposefully just to show that there is an axe in the room once you get there so just in case you do forget your axe there is one in the room it's always there no matter what so don't worry if you forgot an axe you have access to one during the fight boss room layout for the boss room layout it is a very simple room it is literally just a circle near the back of the room from where you enter there is a log sitting there so if you do forget to bring an axe with you for the growthlings there is one always in that log when you enter the room other than that briofita will be standing right in the middle of the chamber here if you need an axe just run around her grab the axe and continue on with the fight there is literally nothing else to know about this room mechanics and attacks briofita is a very simple boss for runescape obviously because it is free to play it kind of has to be simple so briofita only has three things that you need to look out for one is going to be the basic attack magic attack so this one she will use while you are standing away from her and sometimes if you are close to her 
If you are in melee range, you'll have to watch out for the basic melee attacks, which she will use consistently if you are close to her. But either way, if you're ranging, you can stand at a distance. She will only use magic attacks. If you are in close, she will use a combination of both of them. The only specialized mechanic for Briofita you have to worry about is the growthlings throughout the fight. Briofita can spawn growthlings. There will be three of them. What you will have to do here is you will have to take them down to zero HP. They all have 10 HP. Once they have reached zero HP, you will have to use a wood cutting axe on them, not hit them with it. You have to right click, use the axe and use it on the growthling with zero HP. This will defeat the growthling. If the growthlings are up, you cannot deal damage to Briofita. So make sure you take out the growthlings. If you're wondering why you're not doing damage, well, they might be up. Briofita can only spawn one round of growthlings at a time, so you will only ever have three of them attacking you at a time. It is possible for her to respawn them as soon as they die, so be aware of that. Example fights and kills. All right, so for the first of our example kills, I'm gonna go ahead and show the free to play melee method. Uh, so we got here, we're at Briofita's lair, and you'll see the gate here. Now all you have to do is use your key or just open the gate. So it's gonna give you a prompt here and it's gonna tell you that this is an instanced area. So if you do die, anything left on the ground will be lost. So before we start the fight, since we're gonna be meleeing, what we wanna do is we wanna turn on protect from magic. So we're gonna go ahead and start this fight. Yes, let's go. So we're at a distance and since we didn't bring our ax or we forgot it, right over here in the corner, I'm just gonna take one of these axes real quick and now we have an axe. So now I'm going to get up close to Briofita and I'm going to turn on protect from melee. Make sure I use my strength potion. And that is it. So we're going to sit here and wait and we're just going to do some damage. Additionally, if you do have enough prayer points and you want to risk it, you can turn on ultimate strength and incredible reflexes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So this kill is looking like it's going to be pretty quick. All right. So here are the growthlings. So what we want to do for this we're gonna attack one, and then we need to use our ax on the growthling to finish it off. Now keep in mind, these do have to be at zero HP for you to finish them off, not one, not two, they do have to be at zero. So we finish them off, we can get back on Briofida here. Now depending on your levels, this fight could take a while, or it could be relatively quick like this one. As you can see, I am maxed, I do have a maxed account, so I didn't use any food but that is the briofita fight very simple very easy to do all right so now we are ready for our ranged example kill for the free to play method once again i'm here with my lobsters i got my mossy key remember to bring my knife to get through the spider web that you have to cut to get here and my barrack teleport to get out so we're going to go ahead and start this fight this time i'm going to go ahead and put on protect for magic and eagle eye and yes i know it's an instance we're going to go ahead and go in and then we're going to start the fight so in this one we're just going to keep our distance all we have to do is keep our distance because briofita is never going to move so we want to run around and make sure we don't get in melee range here i'm going to grab my axe that i inherently forgot and we're going to go ahead and take care of these growthlings remember all 10 hp has to be gone so we'll go ahead and use the axe on that one and then we'll move to our next growthling. Take that one out. And finally, our third one. And then we can get back on Briofida. Now, it is possible to have more than one round of growthlings throughout this. So you want to be aware of that. She can spawn multiple rounds, but never at the same time. You'll only get one round per time. Now, depending on your account, so that you can see that this kill is taking longer. So ranged actually is not the way to go unless your account is a ranged pure. I do have 99 range and it's still taking me quite a while to finish off this kill. All right, so now that the kill is done, did take significantly longer than the melee kill. And once you're done, remember to pick up your adamant arrows. Otherwise, as a free to play player, they are pretty important. So definitely pick those up when you're done. All right, next example kill up is going to be our pay to play melee. And remember to bring your antidote 
Briofida does poison in pay to play world so you definitely want to have that on you it does the damage does start out at eight and it can stack up pretty quickly if you don't have one of those and if you're staying for multiple kills so to start this one off gonna go ahead and drink a dose of my antidote get that going super combat I'm gonna go ahead and pray protect from magic and piety to start this one off and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the room I've got my dragon dagger equipped I'm gonna run up to Briofida Get a dagger spec off, switch to protect from melee, and I'm going to go grab my axe. Remember, you can bring your own axe if you don't want to be bothered with grabbing one, but always remember there is one in here. So there's our growthlings. I'm going to go ahead and kill those off very quickly. All right, all ready for our pay to play ranged example kill for this one. I am going to be using the magic short bow imbued with amethyst arrows. If you have an upgrade, obviously use that a toxic blowpipe does very well here for pay to play. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and sit my antidote ranging potion protect from magic on and I'm going to go ahead and start the fight. Remember, I'm going to go get my bronze axe real quick, run around Briofida, stay out of melee range. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my rigor and I'm going to start the kill. So from here, same thing, just get Briofida down. If you have growthlings, and there they are, go ahead and take them out and then use your axe on them. And the kill is over. Ending words. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this Briofita guide. I hope that you have learned something. If you didn't know how to kill Briofita, I hope that you do now. It is a very, very simple boss. The most annoying part of Briofita is actually collecting the mossy keys. So if you liked the video and it helped you out, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you like content like this, hit that subscribe on your way out. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody.